Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth lecture of the series on sliding mode control. In this lecture, we discuss the general features of first order sliding mode control. Here is the overview. We start with the basic types of first order sliding mode control algorithms. Then we discuss on the sliding surface, state registry, and control input in the case of first order SMC. In general, we can classify the first order SMC as output feedback based SMC and state feedback based SMC. And in output feedback based SMC, the switching function is a function of the output error and its derivatives. For example, we have the most commonly used form of the switching function for output feedback based SMC as in equation number 1, in which S is the function of the output error, where YR is the reference and Y is the actual output. And we consider the system has P number of output and M number of input. So the matrix M will be an M by P matrix. Or in other words, the switching function M will be a mapping from the output space or the P dimensional space to the input space, which is the M dimensional space. Now in the case of single input system, we have m is equal to 1. So the switching function for a single input system will be as in equation number 2, where we have only one sliding variable. And this m will be a row vector. Then in the case of output feedback based SMC, we use this switching function for computing the control input. Next, in the case of state feedback based SMC, the switching function will be a function of the state error, and it can be chosen as in equation number 3 where XR is the reference state and X is the actual state. And the matrix M will be an M by N matrix, where small letter M is the number of control input and N is the number of states. So here the switching function will be a mapping from the state space or the n-dimensional space to the control space, which is an m-dimensional space. Now in the case of single input system, we have the switching function as in equation number 4. So here this will be a scalar valued function and we call it as the sliding variable. Next, we discuss the switching surface in the case of first order SMC. We have in the case of sliding mode control, the control input will contain a switching time of the form k sigma of s. So this will result in a non-linear state feedback. And because of this sigma time, there will be switching in the control input whenever the value of s crosses 0. And the region in the state space defined by s of x equal to 0 is called switching surface. This is because whenever the state trajectory crosses this region, or in other words, S crosses 0, the control input will switch from one value to other value. Since the control input switches from one value to another value, whenever the state trajectory crosses the switching surface, the velocity vector field, or f of x, comma u, switches from one value to another value. This results in a sudden change in the direction of the state vector, since we have x dot is equal to f of x, comma u. Now, based on the direction of vector fields in both sides of the switching surface, we can have three possibilities after a switching instant. The first one is called refracting mode, in which the normal component of the vector fields in both sides of the switching surface are in the same direction. In other words, this F1 is the vector field and its normal component is F1n, and F2 is the vector field after switching and its normal component is F2n, and here we can see that F1n and F2n are in the same direction. And the second one is called coasting mode, in which the normal component drops to zero after a switching instant, which means the state registry will stay in the switching surface after a switching instant. And the third one, which is also called a sliding mode, the normal component of vector fields in both sides of the switching surface will be in opposite direction, which means that F1n and F2n are in opposite direction and will be directed towards the switching surface which means after the switching instant, the state trajectory will stay in the switching surface or nearby it with subsequent switching actions. Now in the case of linear switching function, we have s of x equal to m into x minus xr, and let's consider a stabilization problem for which xr is equal to zero. This gives the switching surface as in equation number five, in which we have s of x equal to m into x equal to zero. And here we have small m number of sliding variables corresponding to each control input. Now let mi be the ith row of the matrix M, then mi x equal to 0 defines a hyperplane, which we can denote as S1i, which can be defined as in here. Now we denote the number of such surfaces as n1, and we have n1 is equal to mc1, so here this c corresponding to the combination. And from the basic mass, we have mc1 is equal to m. 
Next, we can consider the pairwise intersection of two surfaces such as S1i and S1j. Then their intersection results in an n minus two dimensional switching surface, which we denote by S2ij, and it is defined as here. And we denote the total number of such surfaces as n2, and we have n2 will be mc2. And similarly, we have the intersection of k surfaces results in a switching surface of dimension n minus k, and the number of such switching surfaces will be nk, which is equal to mck. Therefore, the total number of switching surfaces considering all possible intersections will be equal to sum of nk from k equal to 1 to m, and this we denote by n, and we can show that n will be equal to 2 raised to m minus 1, where we use the results from binomial equation, in which we substitute x and y is equal to 1, these two terms will become 1, and we have sigma k equal to 0 to m, mck will be equal to 1 plus 1 raised to m, so it will be 2 raised to m, and sigma k equal to 1 to m, mck will be 2 raised to m minus mc0, and we have mc0 is equal to 1, which will result in this equation. Next, we discuss the state trajectory and control input in the case of first order SMC. In general, the state trajectory of the first order SMC can be divided into three phases. The first phase is called as the reaching phase, in which the state trajectory starts from some initial condition and it moves towards the sliding surface and eventually it reaches the sliding surface. The second phase is called sliding phase, in which the states slide through the sliding surface towards the equilibrium point. And the third phase is called as the steady state phase, in which the state trajectory either states in the equilibrium, which is the ideal case, or it oscillates around the equilibrium, which is the practical case. Finally, we have the control input in SMC will be discontinuous in nature. And in general, we can represent the control input for first order SMC as in equation number 10, where the control input U will be a sum of a continuous term UC and a discontinuous term UD. Here, this discontinuous term UD will be contained in the type K signum of S. This discontinuous term will really result in the non Lipschitz dynamics of the system. And because of the signum time, there will be a switching in control whenever the switching function S crosses 0. Therefore, the control input in SMC will be a nonlinear function of the state or output with a discontinuous switching time. And this switching time will result in the oscillation of the state trajectory around the sliding surface, which we call as chattering. And in the next lecture, we discuss chattering in more detail. That completes this lecture. Thanks for listening.